Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. Now that the premiere of The Phantom Apprentice has come and gone, and the high I experienced from watching that episode has slightly waned, I've gone back and watched the episode several times. One of the many things that stood out to me is when Ahsoka is speaking with Obi-Wan Kenobi during the scene in the Mandalorian throne room. Right before Ahsoka and Obi-Wan end their conversation, Ahsoka tells Obi-Wan to tell Anakin something, but stops before finishing her sentence, which has left me wondering what she wanted to tell Anakin. During this scene, Obi-Wan is explaining that the Jedi Council believes that Darth Sidious is behind the Clone Wars and has been playing both sides of the conflict. He goes on to state that the Jedi must find out who Sidious is, but now that Anakin has killed Count Dooku, there aren't any links to Sidious and his identity. Ahsoka tells Obi-Wan that, during her altercation with Maul, he mentioned Darth Sidious to her, and Obi-Wan tells Ahsoka that she must capture Maul. To do so, Ahsoka states that she needs reinforcements from Obi-Wan or Anakin, but Obi-Wan tells her that he's being sent to Utapau to engage General Grievous, and Anakin has been tasked with spying on Chancellor Palpatine. Ahsoka is taken aback by what the Jedi Council is having Anakin do, and Obi-Wan tries to explain why Anakin's mission is so important. To help ease Anakin's concerns over such a mission, Obi-Wan asks Ahsoka to speak with Anakin and to explain why this is an imperative mission that must be taken up. Rex then comes into the throne room and informs her and Bogatan that there's been an attack. As Ahsoka is leaving, she says to Obi-Wan, tell Anakin, but Obi-Wan cuts her off and says that he will, before Ahsoka can expand upon what she wants Obi-Wan to tell Anakin. But what exactly did she want Obi-Wan to tell Anakin? I think there are possibly several things that Ahsoka wanted Obi-Wan to tell Anakin. One possibility is that she wants Anakin to know that she's sorry she's not there with him during a mission that will no doubt be hard for Anakin to take on. As we know, and as Ahsoka tells Obi-Wan, Palpatine has been very close to Anakin since their first meeting in The Phantom Menace roughly 13 years ago. Palpatine has been acting as a mentor for Anakin all these years, for his own self-interest of course, and Anakin regards Palpatine as a very close friend. Anakin feels frustrated, dismayed, and even betrayed by the Jedi Council and what they've tasked him to do and Ahsoka knows this will be hard for Anakin. Since Anakin is like a brother figure to Ahsoka, she wants him to know that she's sorry she can't be there for him during a time when he will undoubtedly need emotional support. Anakin has always been a Jedi that's more in touch with his feelings, the connections to those that he loves, and, for lack of a better term, is more emotional than the Jedi of the Clone Wars era are taught to be, and Ahsoka knows this. She knows that this is most likely strongly impacting and affecting Anakin. Additionally, Ahsoka understands what it feels like to feel as if the Jedi Council has betrayed you, as she endured that betrayal firsthand in Season 5 when she was wrongfully accused of bombing the Jedi Temple, which subsequently resulted in her leaving the Jedi Order. Ahsoka wants Anakin to know that she understands how he must feel and how hard this must be for him. Lastly, I think it's also very likely that Ahsoka wants Anakin to know that she still cares for him and views him as a brother, even though she might not have shown it in the previous episode, Old Friends Not Forgotten. Revenge of the Sith let us know that one of the reasons for Anakin's descent into the dark side was the Jedi Council tasking him with spying on Palpatine, forcing him to feel like he was betraying a dear friend. Ironically, Palpatine was able to use this to his advantage and painted the Jedi in an even uglier light in Anakin's mind, once Palpatine was able to get Anakin to confess what the Jedi Council had tasked him to do. Ever since Season 5, I've wondered if Anakin still would have become Darth Vader had Ahsoka been there with him during this difficult time, and her conversation with Obi-Wan during The Phantom Apprentice only compounded that thought for me even more. Because Ahsoka was Anakin's apprentice, she inherited a lot of his traits and viewpoints, and does not have such a dogmatic view of the Force and what it means to be a Jedi as many of the contemporary Jedi during this time do. Ahsoka understands the importance of relationships, just as Anakin does, and I think she wishes she could be there for him during a very tough point in time. But what are your thoughts on what Ahsoka wanted Obi-Wan to tell Anakin? Check out our playlist on The Clone Wars. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.